<sighs> it's good to be bailed from jail again. Man, I never always liked that place. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to stop doing my fortune telling, though. Now that I have bailed, I'm going to go do it again. I know, just a customer. And that's how I began to be the strong warrior you made me today. Wow, so you've been on quite a lot of adventures before coming here, and you guys revived me from the dead. Yeah, you could say that, Axel, and I'm just happy that you're back. Same here. It's been good to be alive again, being with you, and seeing out some of our friends, and meeting new friends. It's been great. Yeah. Wait, who's that over there? Huh, that looks like Shrek, and he looks like he's doing a fortune telling to someone. Welcome to my fortune telling. You're my first customer of the day. You better not be giving me another ridiculous one like you did last time, because remember what happened last time, right? Uh, you punched me, right? Yes. Badly, because I'm a ninja. Alright, well, I'll try not to do anything stupid this time. Yeah, you better not. Alright. I am predicting your fortune. And your fortune is, you still will be an out of date ninja, and someone else will be more better than you. What did I say about insulting about my ninja skills? Too bad, that's my Your fortune, no refunds. Screw you. <laughs> Ow! I'm going back to my friends. You, you still are terrible. I can't believe they let you bail. Who cares? Screw you. Oh, that was just me. He ripped him off. Yeah, and he also gave him very bad about his ninja skills. I like that guy, and that was mean of what he said. Yeah, that was very mean. Hey, um, well, I wish there was something we could do. Hmm. Oh, I got it. Why don't we start our own fortune telling business? Hey, we start up our own? Yeah, that way we can charge people. Or no, actually, maybe quite our first one. We should make it all free. Well, what do you mean, like, free? Well, you know, so we can treat people right and not rip them off or give them bad fortunes. But do we need, a, like, a permit to do a little fortune telling? I'm pretty sure we could do it without a permit. So come on, how about we start up our business in Green's room because he's busy today and I'm sure he won't mind if we use it. Um, okay, let's start our fortune telling business. Yes, the Axel and Melanie fortune telling, where we don't charge people crap or rip off or get a bad fortune. Okay, I like that slogan. Let's do it. Oh yeah, Sonic, I'm the best. Sonic, I'm the son of the fastest. Oh, if it isn't you, huh? Shrek, what are you doing here? I thought you were in jail. Oh, I got bailed again. Really? Bailed so soon? Yeah. Anyway, are you up to doing your fortune telling again? I am, except I actually haven't seen any customers in hours. What do you mean hours? Well, I had one customer. He didn't like my fortune. He even gave me a beating. Okay, probably because you ripped them off. Well, so what if I did? But anyway, I was just wondering, do you want your fortune predicted? No, I'm not getting your fortune predicted from you today. Not after the last one you did. Oh yeah, with you and that Amy girl. <coughs> Don't you dare remind me. Well, anyway, so do you want your fortune predicted? No. Okay, well then do you know where, do you think you can get people to come to me? No, I'm not doing that either. You could just sit there if you want. But I haven't gotten customers in hours. Well, too bad for you. I'm not helping you, so... <coughs> Jeez, what a stubby hedgehog. <sighs> I swear, the nerve of that ogre trying to make me do his fortune again. Well, I'm not falling down for the... Eh? What the... Welcome, welcome to our new fortune telling business. Well, I hope you're knocking like Shrek. Don't worry, we won't be. Exactly. Well, I never had a fortune predicted, but I think that would be yeehaw! Uh, what's going on here? Oh, apparently Axel and Melly have started their fortune telling business. Oh no, no. What, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're starting our own fortune telling business. But why? Are you trying to rip off from Shrek or something? No, no, we were actually watching Shrek earlier and he ripped off one of your friends. Uh, okay. Well, um, but why are you doing your own fortune? Well, you see, we wanted to be better than Shrek. And not give people crappy circus or that, so we decided to start our own fortune telling business. Okay, um, you guys don't mind if I go first, because I am the most curious one here. Fine, but this is the only time I'll let you cut the line. Shut up. Alright, 
Give me your best horn tune. Melanie, can you please do the honors? Um, okay. We are predicting your fortune. And your fortune is, if you go to the local supermarket, you'll find a sale for chili dogs. Is this a joke? Because I, I swear that Shrek might have given me something like that before. Just trust me. Go to the shops. See for yourself. Alright, I'll be back in a flash. So, you think you could do better? Okay, I'm back. What the hell? So, were, were you true? Yeah, you were right. I managed to find so many sales of chili dogs, I bought like 500 boxes for $10. See, I told you, we are going to be the better fortune tellers. Exactly. You know what? I prefer you guys being our new fortune tellers. What? New fortune tellers? Oh no, 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 no. Who wants their fortune predicted next? Oi, you, Melon Girl, and Fish Face. Uh, excuse me, that's Gary. I can't say. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Sorry, why are you stealing my business? You had barely a business to begin with. What are you talking about? I've been doing this for years. Yeah, but usually you always seem to always make us miserable with your fortunes. Well, I never met this guy, so I don't know what he's like. He's a terrible fortune teller, Jesse. We don't recommend him. Uh, okay then. Uh, okay. I, uh, I know I'm seeing quite a few new faces since I last was here. Um, uh, but anyway. Stop stealing my business. Forget it. We're gonna start our own business. Yeah, we saw you earlier with a customer. And you ripped him off. That's because SBO just doesn't seem the true nature of my fortune telling. Did you insult him about his ninja skills again? Yeah, because I still find him a stupid ninja. Hey, watch your mouth. He's a professional job of what he does. Exactly. So that's why today we're just, just on our own business, just giving free fortunes. Free fortunes? Ha ha! How are you supposed to make money if you're just giving away free fortunes for charity? Because we are nice people, unlike you, Mr. Shrek. Wow, easy there, Melon Girl. The name's Melanie. Melanie, huh? Okay, well, I'm just gonna call you Melon Girl. <sighs> That's so dishonest. Just don't worry about it, Melanie. Listen, you, get out of here. No, I want you to stop stealing my business and my customers. I am the number one fortune teller in this house, and I will always be the fortune teller in this house. Personally, I don't really care who the fortune teller is, as long as they can give me a good fortune. Especially since now, I have Alex. And I don't mind you being with Alex. Happy for you guys. Thank you, Steve. Does that mean I can kiss you a lot? <laughs> no! See, Shrek, we all prefer Axel and Melanie being the fortune tellers. You are now officially out of business, bunny. But, but I'm supposed to be the fortune teller. Hey, the hedgehog has spoken. So, do yourself a favor and get your ogre butt out of here. Fine, but don't think I'm not going to be snooping because I am going to be keeping an eye on your business. You'll see, you'll rule the day you met Shrek. I don't like him, he's so mean. Just don't worry about him, Melanie. He's just can't see our true nature of being the better fortune tellers. So, um, can we get our fortune? Fortune's predicted next. And I insist you guys let me be your bunny guard, because Shrek sometimes gets a bunny guard for his fortunes. Wouldn't it be okay if I could be your bunny guard? Well, since you really like us a lot, Sonic, of course. Yeah, you guys are like pretty cool in my base, so yeah, I could be your bunny guard. Alright everyone, who wants to get their fortune predicted from Axel and Melanie, the new best fortune tellers? <laughs> I'm just gonna sit and watch, see how he does the next set of fortunes. Uh, will it be okay if I can go next? Uh, sure, uh, what's your name again? I think I got your name. Uh, my name is Shy Guy from Super Mario. Oh yeah, that's right, now I remember. So, um, Shy Guy, you want your fortune predicted? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, well anyway. Um, I'll do it this time. We are predicting your fortune. And your fortune is, you will be going on a special romantic date to KFC tonight with Alex. Oh my god, that is my dream of t the next date. So, how's your relationship going with Alex, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's going really well, Melanie. I'm glad you asked me that. Well, that's good. I gotta say, you I never seen you this happy before, Shy Guy. You got more happy than when you were with Toadette. Yeah, I wasn't really that happy with her, but with Alex, it's a different story. And like I said, I don't mind if Alex wants to be with 
um, shy guy because I am in love with someone else. Uh, do you mind sharing off who, who you're in love with? Sorry, trade secret, can't tell. Is it a special girl? Actually, it's a guy. <laughs> Is Dick gay? I did not know he was gay. He likes boys? Uh, okay. Um, Jesse, how about you go next after, after before Steve? Gladly. Yeah, and you know what? I think I'll just... Uh, maybe go throw up in the toilet or something. Huh, I always knew that Steve guy was gay. But you know what? I'm gonna see if I can get back to my own stand. I'm also gonna get Scooby-Doo a call. Alright, come on front, Jesse. Uh, thank you, Sonic. So, you could you could get me my horse you predicted? Of course. So, Jesse, before we could get your horse you predicted, what's your favorite hobby? Well, my my hobby is so much like witty, so I like watching sports. I like to say see my yodeling, and um, I just like making friends with everyone. And I can also be a little bit naive. Uh, okay, that was weird. Uh, Melody, how about you give her this fortune? Sure, sure, Axel. I am predicting your fortune. You mean we? Sorry, we are predicting your fortune, and your fortune is. Um, you guess you're just gonna be still the same and just be a happy little cowgirl. Ah, thank you, that's what I always want. <laughs> and I just hit myself. Uh, were you aware that she was like this, Sonic? Yeah, I was aware. Okay, I'm back, what did I miss? Oh, Jessie just got her fortune off, nothing different, and she just banged herself on the bed. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, Jessie, want a kiss? Uh, no thanks, and I thought you were gay. I am gay. How about you just get your fortune next, okay? Okay, and do you want a kiss? Uh, no, 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 absolutely not. Uh, don't try kissing me either. And plus, we're in a, kind of in a relationship too. Oh, okay. Alright, come on up, Steve. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mwah. Uh, 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 I said don't kiss me. What's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm a big kisser. Please don't kiss me. Anyway, do you want to get your fortune predicted or not, Steve? Okay, give me my fortune. Okay, then. We are predicting your fortune. And your fortune is, you're just not going to change. And I think I figured out who you're in love with. Oh, please don't say. I wanted to stay a secret. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Uh, you don't mind if you tell me that later, right? Uh, uh, okay, I'll tell you later, Sonic. Okay. Hey, ill. Sorry. Ugh. Yeah, man, that was gross. So, I think I have to say you guys are definitely the best fortune tellers. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesse. All right. If you guys want more, you guys are free. I don't understand. I thought Scooby was supposed to meet me here ten minutes ago. Where could he be? So, is it true you actually do better customer service than Shrek? Yes, we do, Scooby. Yeah, because we're more honest, better people, and more friendly to others. Yeah, so we recommend you maybe joining alongside with them. Oh, thank you. Sometimes Shrek actually beats me to re. So, uh, yes, I, I would love to be the second bodyguard. Can I join you, Mr. Roddick? It's Sonic, but yeah. That's why I said Roddick. <laughs> right. All right, in that case, yeah, you can join. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that's the last straw that could steal my business, steal my money, steal my customers, but now steal my professional partner? That's, that's, not, that's the last straw. It's time to call the officials to put an end to this. Yeah, it looks like only these three just want to get a lot more horseshoes today. Well, I guess that's fine, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty okay. Okay, who wants the next fortune predicted? Hello, guys. I'm Officer Spider-Man. Uh, can we help you, Officer? Um, we received a call from an anonymous person saying that you guys have been running this fortune-telling business without a permit. Well, but I thought we could do this without a permit. Wait, who called you? Uh, we, he didn't really say it was anonymous. Uh, I think it might have been Shrek Scooby. I have a feeling it could be him too. Huh. Well, still, are you- do you have a permit to do fortune telling? 
Uh, no, we don't have one. I thought we could actually do it without a permit. I'm sorry, guys, but if you want to do this business, you need to have a permit. And plus, you haven't been doing any bad horchards like Shrek does, have you? No, we've been giving them other horchards. Yeah, they're they're good. Yeah, they're pretty swell people who horchard tellers. Well, that might be cool to hear, but if you guys don't have a permit to do horchard telling, I'm afraid I'm going to have to close you guys down. But, but, we're good horchard tellers. I'm sorry, but you can't do this without a permit. So you can either close down your business, or you will have to be placed under arrest and go to jail for doing this illegally. <sighs> I guess we'll have to shut down business, Axel. Uh, Alright, we'll close down. Good. Have a good day, then. Sorry, guys. Fortune telling is now closed. Oh, but you guys were the best! Sorry, but we don't have a permit for this, and apparently we do. And we're the kind of people that obey the law. Yeah, sorry guys. Well, I guess, Scooby, you're gonna have to just go back to being Shrek's fortune talent partner. No, uh, uh, God, as long as he pays me. Okay, well, I feel sorry for you. I honestly do. Anyway, I have a feeling Shrek did this because he just doesn't like you guys as much, especially since you stole his business. So I hear that your fortune telling is closed. Did you call the cops? Yes, I did. Because you two were doing this illegally, weren't you? Yeah, okay, fine. We didn't have a permit. Do you have one? Of course I do. Even though I'm not the best fortune teller in the world, as some people say, because I am the best. I do have a permit to do it, you fools. Huh, so that's why you can always keep doing it. So, but you're just the worst fortune teller. And now, you have met your match. Don't ever try stealing my business again. Uh, I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, as much as I don't like that Shrek guy, at least you guys were great fortune tellers. Yeah, you guys were the best. You guys even made my day, especially with your fortune. Uh, you're welcome, Steve. Oh well. Well, I guess we'll all have to resume to our usual stuff. How about we just go... How about we get a permit to do maybe art classes? Maybe we could be professional art teachers. Yeah, maybe that could be our new passion, but let's get permits for that. Yes, let's! <laughs> my plan worked. This is what happens when they try to steal my fortune telling business. <laughs> hey, Kamek, I was just wondering, is it time? Wait, what's this? Uh, time for what, Tails? To tell me about this project, because we've only been working on gadgets in the last few months. Hmm, I guess it is time that I tell you, and soon enough to our other friends. Follow me to my lab, okay? Hmm, maybe I could do my fortune telling another time. I'm going to have a little bit of a snoop of what this project is. So, where is it? It's right under here. Let me go get it. Okay. I got it. This is my top project. Wait, is that a Yoshi egg? Your top secret project you've been working on for all these years was a Yoshi egg? This is not an ordinary Yoshi egg, Tails. Wow, what a pretty item. That could be improving my skills for fortune telling. This is actually a mysterious Yoshi egg. How mysterious could it be? Well, you see, I've been working on this for years trying to tamper what it could be from my game origins and used it as a special source of item. It has unlimited source of mystery powers. What kind of powers? I don't know. However, I kind of started working on it a few months back because apparently this egg also contains some sort of dark evil presence. Wait, what? You created like a dangerous sort of weapon? It's not a weapon, it's more like a... I don't know, some sort of weird energy source that's pure evil. So, you really trusted me to tell me the secret of yours? Well, to be honest, Cortex and Moogie Tails don't see much loyalty compared to you, so I only trust you to tell you about this for now, Tails. Well, I appreciate that, Kamek, but aren't the other two gonna get jealous? I'm sure I'll be fine, 
But anyway, I better put this back. It's not safe to keep it out. Why? Because some girl like Cottage Green or something might find out its true power. I better put it back away before anyone finds out about this game. And that will be great. Time to take it. Uh, good day, gents. Wait, you? Were you just trying to sabotage Axel Melanie's poetry business? Yeah, I did saw that earlier. You're kind of a jerk for doing that. Hey, I'm the number one best fortune teller around here, so only I do fortune telling. Well, still, it didn't give you any right to sabotage Axel and Melanie's fortune business. They actually were doing it a lot better than you. You're the worst fortune teller in the world. Well, soon that will be wrong, because with that egg, I could become the best fortune teller. What? No, you can't take this egg. This is my top project. And Shrek, you can't- you don't know what kind of things that's inside this thing. Yeah, Kevin just told me. You can't just take it. Oh, I'm going to take it, so give me the egg. No! This egg is under our protection. You cannot have it. Fine, then. If you won't let me have the egg, then I'm just gonna take it by horse! Ow! Ow! Thank you for your generous curiosity. I am going to become the best fortune teller in the world. Shrek, you don't know what you're dealing with! That's not an ordinary Yoshi egg! You don't know what you could be messing with! I don't care. Time to become the best fortune teller in the world. Ow. I think I'm in constant pain. Ha ha ha, I did it. I got my most prized possession. The best item to use for fortune telling. It's a magical egg that can maybe make me the best fortune teller in the world. And I think I'll set up shop right there. It's so cool that I get to be in the next new Mario adventure. Yeah, instead of just being like a little psychic companion like in the new Super Mario Bros. games, you actually get to tag along with Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yellow Toad, and even Daisy. Wow, she's finally getting the respect she deserves after all these years. It's still a shame that Waluigi couldn't. Yeah, but who knows, maybe someday that might change around. Maybe. Anyway, step right up! Wait, what was that? That sounded like Shrek. Oh no, don't tell me he's at this fortune telling business again. Ah, he better not. Come get your super good fortunes today. Now that I have a new mystic item, it will definitely grant you your fortunes correctly. Wait a minute. Did Shrek get an egg? That's a Yoshi egg. How did he get that? I don't know. But we better just keep an eye on him so what he does with it. Ah, he better not be messing with it. Oh, so this is the new fortune you could say? Yes. If you take your fortune now, your egg... This egg will grant your fortune correctly, now that I have a source of power. So where did you get this thing? I bought it at an outlet store. An outlet store? An outlet that will sell a Yoshi egg that big at an outlet store. Do you want your fortune or not? Yes, I'll take my fortune. Very well. I am predicting your fortune. And your fortune says that you'll be rewarded with a special surprise. Oh, I hope it's good. I think so. The egg was the one who told me about that. Wait, the egg granted my fortune? Yeah, I guess the egg did, so you might be in a tree. I hope. Yes! It better be good. Okay, that was different. Ah! Oh, for some reason I got a headache from after getting that fortune. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's. I'll just wait for the next customer. Ah, you alright, Tails? Yeah, finally began the ability to mill. Ouch, but that packed a wallop. Yeah, that sure did. <sighs> I better go stop Shrek immediately. So, is this Yoshi egg good or not? It's hard to tell, okay? But look, for now, just get to Green's room. I'll explain about it later. I just need... I need to go stop him, okay? Alright, I'll meet you in there. I do not want to get my fortune predicted, Charmy. But come on, SBL. Any special fortune this time. It could be worth something. Look, you can take the fortune if you want. I'm not, okay? Let's just get this over with. I see that you're back for more. I'm not taking another one of your fortunes, Shrek. I took it twice, and I did not like them. Charmy wants to take it, though. Okay, then. So, little B, huh? Yep, that's me, the only one and only, Chami B, the best one of the Chaotix. No, you're not. Shut up, you don't know that. Do you want your fortune? Yes, I want my fortune. Very well. I am predicting your- Ah! Oh! Uh, you alright, sir? 
Oh, it's my head. For some reason, I'm getting headaches today. I never get headaches doing this stuff. Hmm, I wonder why that is. Is Digga get something to do with that? It couldn't be. I mean, it's just a Yoshi I die for. So, what's my fortune? Uh, your fortune is you're going to be rewarded with some chocolate. Yes, see, I tell you, he'll give me some chocolate. Oh, uh, nice going, Shrek. Hey, you can't help me. Ah, oh, my head. And maybe we should go. Yeah, this is just getting really odd and confusing. Let's just go. Yeah. Ugh. And you really have to grant him the wish with lots of chocolate. Well, he likes chocolate. Whatever. Bye. What is going on here? I'm getting severe headaches. Shrek, stop! Okay, those fortunes are pretty obviously sus. Yeah, let's go. It's time to stop him once again. Shrek, I'm being absolutely serious. Give me the egg. No, I told you it's mine. Alright, yeah, we're gonna stop you with your fortunes. Yeah, you are no power source of fortune. What, you two again? You two beat it. I don't have time for this nonsense. No, we always stop you. Shrek, give me the egg. Or oh, what? What's this egg going to do? Be attached to me or something? Uh, why is it shaking? What the? Okay, I got a problem. It's attached to my arm and I can't get it off. Oh, this is exactly what I told you about. Wait, what's going on? This is not an ordinary Yoshi egg. This is a Yoshi egg that I invented. Wait, you invented that? Yes, but it wasn't meant for fortune telling. It was meant for some sort of source. But... I... I think Shrek has tampered with it. Well, get it off! I can't. If I try, it will electrocute me. So you mean I'm stuck like this? Look, you two, get him into to Green's room. I need to get him immediately. Uh, do we really have to carry him? Well, if this seems like an urgent matter, I guess we have to. Alright, Shrek, how are we gonna do this? There is no way I'm not letting you two carry me. Plus, I'm not think we would be able to. You're too damn big! Yeah, you're fat. Just shut up and just... Just, I'll just follow you two inside, okay? But this better not be a trick that you two are planning. Why would we plan this? We don't know anything about that until recently. Just, just get in the room. I'll follow you. Seriously, this is not how I wanted to start my day as the best fortune teller in the world. I can't believe you two made a Yoshi egg. Hey, I didn't make it. Kamek was. Look, I made this egg to for a source of power, but there was something wrong with it, so I had to cancel the project. And you just let Shrek get onto it? It wasn't that. I was. I guess he must have spotted us. Uh, I guess we should have overlooked. Uh, hey, Kamek, I got your message, and you said I needed to dawn in my hero outfit. Uh, yeah, we got a problem here. Oh, it's you again. What? Oh, hey, Shrek. I thought, I thought he was in jail. He didn't go to jail, remember? Last time he just sabotaged Axel Melanie's fortune business. Well, yeah, I heard about that. That was pretty mean of you. Shut up. Can, do you know how to get this thing off? What? Is, is that a Yoshi egg? Yeah, but it's apparently attached to him. Attached to him? Well, why don't you just rip it off? I tried, but it electrocuted me like three times. Yeah, apparently it's stuck on him. Is this a Yoshi egg that you made? Yes. And to be honest, that's actually my top secret project that I've been working on for years. Wait, the Yoshi egg was like your top project? Yes, I've been keeping it secret for years. So this is the thing you've been keeping secret for all of us for all these years? I can't believe you! Well Kamek, we need some answers. What exactly is this game and how do we help Shrek? <sighs> Fine. I might as well tell you all the story. You see, back a couple of years ago, I was working on this Yoshi egg, trying to determine its secrets, and seeing if I was able to create anything sort of special life inside. But when Cortex was about to come in, I had to hide the Yoshi egg, since I could not tell him the secret of my top project. Hey, come back! Uh, yeah? What's up, Cortex? Uh, were you working on something without telling me? No, why would I do that? You seem a bit secretive there, my friend. No? Well, well, anyway, what's that? Uh, I was wondering if you wanted to take the day off with me and go see a movie. A movie? Well, what movie? Uh, I can't remember exactly which one, but I thought we could go see a new comedy movie. After all, it is 2021. 
Uh, sorry, Cortex. I can't really come out today. I got my own plans. What kind of plans are you working on? It better not be anything secret or sciety that you're doing behind my back. No, no, um, I'm planning to take my son Red out for today. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a son. Oh, I, I, I understand. You got a father on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm taking him out to the park. He wants to go to the park today. Okay, then. Well, I won't intrude, then. I'll let you be with your son. <sighs> Phew. But wait, how come you never told me the secrets of Red's birth? I did, remember? He was created from Green's DNA when he was stuck in the Heartless? And where is that Heartless? Uh, unfortunately, sooner after Red escaped from it, it blew up, so it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that's a shame. We could have done some extra science work on that. Yeah, but what can you do? Yeah, true. Alright, well, I'm gonna go see your comedy movie at the Senvis. You have a good day with your son. Can do. <sighs> Phew, that was a close one. But I'm not ready to reveal you to the world just yet, my dear Yoshi Egg. And I plan to see whatever lies inside you, and you could be my greatest creation yet. And since then, I was able to work on this Yoshi Egg alone. And I even sensed there was life inside, and so that's why I made it my top secret project. And that's the story of the Yoshi Egg. My god, can't believe it. You were attempting to play God? Especially after the risk, especially after Red's birth, as you're gonna know from my DNA. That's how you two are brothers. But wait, Kamek, how come you never told anyone about this till now? You see, Tails, I just couldn't. By the way, while you were telling the story, the egg kind of moved towards my crotch. Uh, okay. Can the Yoshi egg actually move? Well, I mean, it's it's round. Well, luckily, it's not touching my crotch, but it's attached to my legs. Attached to your legs. How can it be attached to his legs? I don't know, but apparently Shrek is now stuck with it. So how do I take off the Yoshi egg? That's the thing, you just can't. What do you mean he can't? It's stuck on his legs! Well, I don't know about this much of this Yoshi egg, but maybe I could try remove it, because after all, I just taught been found out about this game a while ago. Oh, that would be appreciated, young fox. Tails? What? What's wrong, Kamek? You can't touch the Yoshi egg. Why not? I mean, it, it wouldn't hurt if I just freed him from it. If you touch it, you will end up getting electrocuted, or worse, sucked in. Wait, sucked in? Yeah, sucked into the Yoshi egg. Oh, so I guess I can't touch it then. Huh. Then what if I try removing the egg off myself? You'll get sucked into the egg too. Oh, come on. So, Kamek, is there any way we can get this off Shrek without causing any sort of catastrophe? Look, me and Tails are going to have to figure out a safe solution to get this removed. So Tails, I need you in my lab. Um, okay, but how are we going to get Shrek to the lab without moving him? We're going to have to carry him. What? But I, I'm not that strong. I mean, how how did Yoshi and Kuma manage to carry him? Ugh, trust me, he's strong as hell. Yeah, he's one big fat ogre. Uh... Okay, I guess we'll have to figure out a way to get him into the lab. But wait, what is what do these three should do? You three need to go find the victims that Shrek used fortune on. Wait, wait, Shrek already used fortunes with the egg on three people? Yeah, he used it on SBO Charmy and Shy Guy. So you want us to speak with them? Yes, speak with them and make sure that to be prepared for themselves, because whatever fortune Shrek gave them might lead to a catastrophe coming after them coming from this. Oh no. Why, Shrek? Like I said, I wanted to be the best fortune teller in the world, but no one told me about being the egg being stuck on me. That's why I told you not to tamper with it. Yeah, even I told you that, even though I didn't know much about the whole story until now. Yes, I know, Tails. Well, g can you three do it? Yeah, of course, Tails. We can let everyone know, well, at least the ones that got fortunes now. Yeah, we're on the case. Yeah, so... Alright, come on guys, let's go find them. Oh boy, hopefully this won't be too scary. Yeah. 
Do you think maybe after this you'll stop doing your fortunes? No, I will never still give up fortune telling. I didn't enjoy that life when I retired. Right. Well, I can only wish you guys luck then on the carrying stuff. Thanks, Cooper. So how are we going to get Shrek into the lab? I guess we can call someone. I'll call Hector. Oh, lollipop, lollipop, lollipop. Why are you singing the lollipop sound? I don't know. I'm just happy about my fortune. I'm not really too sure about this. Oh, come on, SBO. He said I could get a lifetime supply of chocolate. That means I'm never going to have to ask you or Hector for chocolate again. Yeah, but still, I wouldn't really trust that ogre charming. Remember the last time when we tried getting our fortunes? That was a while ago, SBO. You can just let that go. <sighs> I just only hope finding them won't be too hard. Oh wait, they're over there in the kitchen. Perfect. All right, let's go. Hey there, guys. Hey guys, just the three we needed to talk. Oh, hey guys, are you gonna get us food? No, but my fortune says I'll get some. Well, what seems to be the matter, you three? Well, you see, you three went to Shrek earlier today for your fortunes. Well, Espio didn't want one because I didn't trust Shrek after the second time. I think you made a wise decision, Espio, but still, you are a victim. A victim of what? The catastrophe that's gonna unfold soon from Shrek's fortune. Remember that Yoshi egg he was using? Oh yeah! He said it, it'll make him the best fortune teller in the world. I hope he's doing better now. Well, obviously he's actually not. What are you talking about? You see, the Yoshi egg is now attached to his body and it won't come off. So there was something wrong with that egg. Yeah, obviously there was something wrong with it. And Kamek and Tails are now trying to figure out a way to remove it without causing much catastrophe. Do you think I should get Vector and then me, Charmy, and him can go help them? I don't know if detective work is going to work in this case. You can't use brute force, otherwise it'll cause more havoc than it does. Yeah, so we want you guys to be prepared for anything that will come, because I feel like eventually something's going to come out of that thing and come after you three especially. Yeah, and maybe eventually everyone else. Yeah, and we can't have that. Hmm, maybe we should talk about this to Vector Charmy. But what about my chocolates? This is no time for that. Yeah, this is more priority matters than your chocolate, Charmy. Oh man. Come on, Charmy. We better go and find Vector. Oh, but I want that ch lifetime supply of chocolate. Well, now you can see it's not going to be that. So, no happiness for me? Well, at least you got happiness with Alex, but not with Fortune. Yeah, so you've been unfortunately pranked on Shy Guy, or not pranked, pretty much put on something bad towards your fate. Oh, well, that's the last time I'm going to Shrek. Okay, I think that's job done. Let's get back to you, to Kamek and Tails. Okay, I now don't like the fact that the egg has moved up to the wards near my face. Look, shut up. We're trying to figure out a way to save you without causing too much damage. Yeah, uh, you alright, Kamek? Ah, uh, sorry, I think I'm just a little tired after all this incident. Thanks to you, Shrek. Whatever. Alright, Tails, we better figure out a way to do a safer way. Yeah, otherwise this could be a catastrophe. Alright, how about we get some... some water and soda? What are you talking about? You see, if you use water and soda, you can actually easily remove it without causing any d damage. Is that a flaw you built for this thing? Look, just get it! Okay. No! No, you're not going anywhere! What are you talking about? Look, I had enough of this nonsense. You guys are just wasting my time. We're not wasting your time, we're trying to help you! Yeah, don't you understand that, you stupid ogre? You know what? I don't care what you say. I'm getting this egg off me right now if it, if it kills me. Shrek, no! Oh, no, 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 no! He's... 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 He's gone. What? Where is he? He's gone in the Yoshi egg. Ha, wait, you know that? That's why I told him not to touch it. What do you think is going to happen now that he touched it? Probably very, very bad things, Tails. Oh, no. <laughs> what in the heck? Oh, no. They're monsters. <sighs> Oh, finally, we are free. <laughs>
Did you sense this? Whoa, my brothers. We are in a new universe! And we're finally free from that cursed prison of an egg. <laughs> oh, my actual god. Monsters! Kevik! You were getting monsters in the Yoshi egg? I did not know there were monsters. I, I just felt they had an evil presence, but seeing them now as actually monsters makes logic sense. Uh, uh, are you monsters friendly by any chance? Friendly? No! We are killer dangerous monsters! And now that we are free from our cursed reality, we might as well take over this one. But first, we sense that we must go after the victims that got their fortunes predicted by this egg. Oh yes, I would love that! Let's go! <laughs> we'll see you fools later. <laughs> Bye. What the heck? Do you think they can really defend themselves from whatever that comes their way? Look, we talked to them, we made sure they are prepared for what's coming, especially Espio. He's very aware of this stuff. I hope you're right, Green. But anyway, let's get to Kamek. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, boys. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Yes, rip and tear. <laughs> what was that? Was that a monster? Quick, get into Kamek's lab. <laughs> Kamek, how can you let this happen? I swear, I did not know. Guys, we got a situation here. Yeah, if you're talking about the monsters, yeah, we already saw. Wait, you guys already saw? They came out from this. Kamek, did you make monsters? No, I swear I did not know there were monsters living inside my egg. I swear. And now these monsters have been unleashed into our world. So, they could cause trouble, you know? They're not from our reality. I know that! Don't you think I'm already aware of it? And, another thing? Where is Shrek? Yeah, where is he? Apparently, he tried to get the Yoshi egg off himself because he was tired of being attached to it. And then the next thing, he got sucked right into the egg. That is true. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And apparently, as soon as after he touched it and got sucked into the egg, then the monsters came out. So, that was, that was Shrek's curse? I told him not to touch it. <sighs> you are, okay, that's past now. Well, do you know where the monsters are heading? They said they were going to go after the victims. But we just talked to them! Well, now you have to go back and defend them. Alright, well, let's go, guys. We've got to save Espio, Charmy, and Shy Guy. Alright, Kamek, you need to figure out a way to get Shrek out of there. I'm already on it. Tails, can you help? Sure. Can't believe you got me into this mess. But you're the only one I can trust. Okay, I appreciate that, but now's not the time. Okay. You guys go go save the others. Anyone stand back! Yes, we got it. Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, our victims into one place with two extras. Yeah! Rip and tear! Rip and tear! Okay, easy. We need to eliminate them. So this is this was our bait from Shrek? This is exactly why I told you and Charmy not to go after Shrek's fortune to get SBO. It wasn't my idea, it was Charmy's boss. Whatever, we'll talk about it later. Um is it okay to say if I can be scared and scream like a girl right now? <laughs> Don't worry, I can take a shy guy and you guys. Thanks, Alex, I appreciate you here. Well then. Looks like you two will have to be the first to go, even though you don't have your fortune protected. That's because I don't believe in fortune telling. Shy guy, you should know better than that. Uh, now's not the time, Alex. So good night. Oh, oh no, you don't. We are here to save you guys. Oh, it's you guys again. When are we gonna keep stop seeing you in one day? Shut up, Charming. We're here to rescue. Yeah. They're here to rescue us, so shut up. Hi. Anyway, what are you monsters doing here? I'm actually the leader. Oh, you're the leader? Well then, why don't you explain things? Very well. You see, when that ogre sort of creature touched the Yoshi egg, he was using our powers for fortune telling. But little did he know that he was too weak to control such power. 
So therefore, me being sitting inside the egg, just waiting for the moment to strike out of the egg and come into your world. And that's why you guys are going to be scrolled. But why are you guys after us for that matter? Yeah, how come you're out to Shy Guy SBO and Charmy? Well, you see, they have gotten their fortunes predicted by the power of us. And that is why they are primary targets to pretty much destroy. Or as I like to, I want to switch bodies with one of the victims. I would like to switch bodies with that purple chameleon. Wait, what? No. No, you don't. Wait, there's a switch Monday monster? Okay, that is creepy, and that would explain from the glitchy body he has. Oh my god. But you know what? I said he would power. It looks like the you, my little friend. I'm not little, it's just the size I am at. Very well. Let's see what happens when I put my consciousness into your body. I'd like to see you try. And Ow! No you don't. And plus, Green already had a mind switching incident years ago. I don't think he want, doesn't want another repeat of that. Well, I guess you know it. I think everyone does, Green. But you know what? We are going to fight you monsters. We're not afraid. Right, Yoshi? Yeah, I'm not afraid of anything. I can handle some monsters. You guys have no idea what you're in for. Get him, boys! Um, should we help you guys too? No, 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 no. The monsters will literally tear you guys to shreds. You guys need to get out of here. Let me, Yoshi, and Cooper handle this. Alright, team, let's go. Alright, come on, Shino. I'm gonna get you set somewhere you're safe. <sighs> Thanks, Alex. <sighs> but we can Alex never ran for a fight. I'm afraid for this one time, I agree with guys beyond green. We have to retreat. Alright, come on, team. Let's go. We're right behind you. Let them run. We will go after them eventually. Not on our watch. Oh! Yeah! Had enough? No, we're just getting started. Ow! Can you your selfie? Yeah! That is one weird monster voice. I'm gonna destroy you! Oh yeah? Look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. I see. I see. I see. Haha, <laughs> got you. Ow! No one can resist my charming eye. <laughs> oh, you suck. Oh, rip and tear. Rip and tear. Do you always like to say that? I'm a leech. I like to rip and tear the innocence. Well, I am not afraid of anything. I'm known as the sports pro at this place. You are not going to get away with it. Oh, really? <laughs> Ow! Mmm, it tastes like meat. Perfect. You are going to be my tasty dish. Oh no you don't. Ugh. I got you. No, on the contrary, I got you. Ow. <laughs> Rip and tear. Cooper, you okay? No, I'm badly hurt. Green, I don't want to cause any sort of down hope. But I don't think we can stand against these monsters. We're too outnumbered. I hate to admit it, but you're right. Quitting so soon, we're just getting warmed up. Come on, bring us a pair. We are just getting very entertained. Okay, usually I'm not really the kind of guy that will say this, but we need to retreat. Pronto, retreat. Quick, outside. Quick, after them. Don't worry, let them go. They want to be outside, so Anyway, we need to go after the victims. Why don't we find more other victims than what we didn't get for you telling? That's actually not a bad idea. Let's go find some innocent people here and tear them apart. Yes, rip and tear! Oh, this should be fun. Oh yes, I am looking forward to this. Maybe there might be someone else that I can swap bodies with for power. I think we got away. Yeah, I think we did. Okay, that wasn't really our best scenario with the monsters. But I'm pretty sure we can think of another plan. But what? And how are we supposed to get to Kamek and Tails? I don't know. 
Maybe we need some extra help. Maybe that's why we didn't have a chance. Hmm. Wait, who's that over there? Maggie, is that you? Yep, it's me. What seems to be the problem? We have a monster infestation. Yeah, I have noticed. Luckily, I have dealt with monsters before. Oh yeah, that's right, you have. Thank goodness you have. But why don't we talk to Sight and form up a plan? I'm sure we can defeat these monsters, and I'll get a couple more allies to help. Ah, <sighs> that would be appreciated. All right, let's head inside and form a plan. All right, here we are, team. Oh, I'm actually glad that the monsters didn't invade my room, because that's the last thing I need, a trashy bedroom. <laughs> You're telling me, Green. So, are we going to form a plan? Oh yeah, we will. But first, we just got to wait for the last recruits to arrive. Oh, you managed to get us some more help? Yeah, the characters you now, but they were willing to help defend this place. Hee, <laughs> who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! <laughs> really? You have to use the Ghostbusters reference? What? I was just trying to be funny. Okay, we got Maggie's urgent call that we needed to take care of some monster problem. Alright, pretty good choices picking out Boo and Rosalina, Maggie, but what about Mario or Sonic? I, I couldn't get in touch with them. I think they're dealing with something else at the moment. So I think that's why I only got them these two. They were the only ones able to defend themselves from the monster crisis. And just one thing, where did all these monsters come from? Yeah, that's something I want to know too. Apparently it came from a Yoshi Egg project that Kamek invented. He showed it to Tails, then when Shrek discovered it, he used it for fortune telling. Then, after a while, it got attached to him. Me, Yoshi, and Koopa had to now warn the victims that Shrek used his fortunes on with it. Then, suddenly, he touched the egg, got pulled or sucked right into it. Then, monsters came out of it, and... Well, I think you guys know the rest of the story from there. Yeah, that's making more sense now. I knew Shrek was behind this. But why would he use a dangerous item for a project? Uh, that, you mean Kamek? That's what I'm talking about. Why would Kamek do that? Look, I don't know. He apparently kept this a secret from us for two years. Really? That long? Wow, I thought you can trust a wizard. Okay, now this is not the time to argue. This is a time of heroic need. That's why you two are perfect other allies to help us in this mission. Because apparently I heard Green, Yoshi, and Koopa trying to defend themselves from the monsters once. Yeah, we tried, but they were too strong than we thought. Yeah, and there was a bit more than just us three handles, so we couldn't do it. But don't worry, now with us three at your side, we will be able to aid you. Yeah, and this time we will teach those monsters about coming into our universe and planning to destroy it. Yeah. But the thing is though, I did heard as soon as after we left outside, they said though they were going to plan to try to scare other characters, the ones that didn't get their fortunes predicted. So they're just going out to now anyone they want to torture or something. Hmm, that seems bad. I hope my lovely Woody is not in danger. I think Woody would be able to defend himself, Rosalina. Yeah, but he doesn't have powers like me. How is he supposed to defend himself? He's not like a Buzz Lightyear. But then again, Buzz's laser isn't really much of a real laser, it's just a light bulb that blinks. Uh, can we just focus on the task at hand? I think we're getting off topic. Sorry, sorry. So, we need to figure out the best team plan. Well, we I think we should just stick together, be strong, and encounter them at once, or together. Whichever one that works, really. Okay, so we're just gonna go hold on strike out on these. Buggers. I'm gonna call them buggers, because they literally are a bunch of buggers. Yeah, at least they're nothing like Mr. Bugger Off, even though I don't really like that guy. Yeah, me too. Ugh, Dumbo's such an idiot. Yeah, but I think we're getting off topic again. Alright team, let's go find these monsters and give them a pain they will never forget. And see what happens when they invade someone else's home. I agree. Let's go kick some monster butt. <laughs> Stay back, all of you, you creeps. Do you think I'm not that afraid of you? I can take you on. All of you. Really? You think you can stop us? We encountered three others that tried to attack us, and they all failed. Yeah, and I wanted to rip and tear. Rip and tear. 
Yes, yes, I get it. You want to rip and tear. I get it. But look, listen here, cowboy. We are going to make this our new home. And the first thing we plan to do is eradicate those that look different from us. Because we don't like your kind. Well, do your worst, you vile beast. Very well then. Leech, you may have the honors. Oh yes, time to rip and tear. I wouldn't do that if I was you. And why not? Because I think she was saying otherwise. What? No one, and I repeat, no one messes with my Woody. You alright, Woody? Huh, Rosalina, thank God. I'm glad that you're here. Don't worry, sweetheart. Me and my fellow friends here will take care of these monsters. You get yourself to safety. Alright. Stay safe, Woody. Alright. Make sure you give them one for me, partners. Why that little... <laughs> Ow! Oh my gosh, Rosalina, you okay? He, he bit me. Ow! Oh, he bit you hard on the hands. Alright. Don't worry, I got you. Surrender yourselves now, or we're going to go hide on you. Yeah, but I'm not showing any easy signs this time. Well, 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 I see that Green and those little guys had to require help. Wait, how do you know my name? Please. We attempted to look into the history of that ogre when he touched our beloved egg. And we knew all your names. And you guys are just nothing but weaklings. We'll show you we're not weaklings. And don't worry guys, I'm just taking care of Rosalina's arm. She got bit bad. <sighs> Thanks, Cooper. Well, and we're gonna kick your butts. Oh yeah? Well, I'd like to see you bring it. Okay, let's go, gentlemen and lady. Thank you. Attack! Oh, you don't seem that scary to me for a ghost. Oh, you want to see something scary? I'll show you scary, you frickin' monstrosity. You think a liquid? What did you actually do to him, Bill? I just gave him the lick of eternal pain. I thought this was worth it, because it's just a monster. Oh, nice one. If you think I'm afraid of you guys, you got none of coming. Oh, I see a special little warrior. Let me sense your skill. Oh my god, you have great skill. Allow me to put my consciousness into your body. Over my dead hands. What the? Ow! Consider yourself beat. Monstrosity. She's tough. Ow! I'm going to stare into your soul and make you suck for all eternity. Oh yeah? Well, I, you may have gotten the drop of hand before. Well, if I caught ya. But I am going to use my flutter jump. <laughs> that was a weird reaction. That is the oddest monster I have ever fought. <laughs> Rip and tear! Rip and tear! Oh no. Ah, uh, green! Not so fast. Ow, oh, rip and tear! Huh. Well, that's four down, but wait, where's the last monster? Ow! You rain! Oh, ouch! Green! And now it's time for me to get my revenge. Oh! Oh! No one messes with my girl! Woody? I just couldn't see, let you guys deal with this. I thought you guys needed a little extra hand. Thanks, Woody. We appreciate it. Yeah, you're all right, California now, Banks. No problem. And now let me just make sure that this uh, little monstrosity stays with the group so you guys can all hold him together. How are you holding up, partner? Don't worry, I'm fine. Just badly bruised, but I'm fine. Thanks so much for your help, Woody. No problem, guys. Um, do you guys need me to get Kamek and Tails involved? I think they're already aware of the situation, but yeah, please get them to meet us in the room. Yeah, uh, you got it, partners. Alright, 
I think I'm feeling better now. Thanks, Cooper. Yeah, I learned how to do medical training. I'm not just a sports pro person, you know. No, you're very good at healing. Well, maybe not healing, but at least I'm good with, you know, curing pain from injuries like that. Thanks, Cooper. All right, I'm glad those monsters are taken care of. All right, let's get them back into the room while they're unconscious. Yeah. Do, do you need the next help? Actually, yeah. I think your help from my bruise pain would be appreciated. All right, I'll come to help you. Now what are we gonna do? We gotta wait for Tails and Kamek to arrive. Yeah, they're the only ones that can capture them. All right, we're here, and we brought the Yoshi egg. Did you guys stop the monsters? Yeah, they're just over there. Now put them back in the egg before they awake again. All right, all right, stand by. I got it. Oh, oh, I better not say. Uh, oh no. Are you sure you got this, Kamek? Don't worry, I got it. Ah, oh, come on, you son of a. Okay, there. Fortune Sesame! That's it? It was that simple? Just say open or Fortune Sesame and they will just go right back into the egg? Actually, it was just a new feature that means Hales just installed into the Yoshi egg. That way, it no longer has a mind of its own, no one mistakenly touches it and gets sucked in and nothing bad comes out. Okay, so you got up the claw. That's good. So I guess that's it. Crisis averted. I think we've done. Yeah, we finally saved this place. Alas, it's not actually over. What do you mean? I mean, you guys start the monsters, save this universe, and put them back in the egg, but it will only be on for a few hours until they have their power to escape again. And once they do, they will never be able to be stopped again. So you mean they'll become immortal? Immortal, powerful, and unstoppable. They won't be able to get back into the egg if they escape again. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Sorry I didn't tell you tales, but I have calculated the probability. And how do you know this will happen for sure? Because, as, as long as Shrek is still stuck inside, because he was the one who tampered with the power of the egg, it will happen if they come out, they will never be stopped again. So what do you propose we're supposed to do? There is only one option that can prevent all this from happening. You guys must travel inside to the Yoshi Egg, rescue Shrek, and bring him back. What? You want us to save that stupid ogre that caused the trouble in the first place? Yeah, I wouldn't even save that ogre. He stinks as well. Look, I know you all have a hate urge towards ta I mean, towards Shrek. Sorry, I didn't mean to say you, Tails. None taking, but it's just a lot of pressure. Yeah. And look, I hate Shrek a lot too. I hate him mostly out of all of you for what he did. But it, you guys have to rescue him and bring him back, otherwise catastrophe will happen and it will, it will never be recovered. And that means that will be the end of our universe for good. Exactly. So you guys must travel into this egg and I don't know what kind of world there will be inside. So there is a reality world inside that thing? Yes, but you guys must go in, rescue Shrek, bring him back, and um, I think we'll probably just call the police, right Tails? Of course, I think Shrek has to go to jail for what he did. He caused all this trouble ever since he bailed out. Well, first to actual Melanie and now all this, so yeah, he's definitely gonna get a long time sentence in jail. Okay then team, I guess we're not done yet. Wait, wait, let me come with you guys. Scooby? Yes, please let me join. Are you sure, Scooby? We just faced horrifying monsters and we just put them back into the egg. Well, at least for now, until they come out again. Well, look, I know I'm scared of monsters, but Shrek is my fortune buddy. And I don't really have any other purpose here besides being his fortune business buddy. I'm sure you just out of purposes. I'm afraid not, I looked into that. <sighs> Alright, Scooby, you can come too as long as you can handle the danger. Oh, please, I faced many hard monsters before. Yeah, but those monsters were fake. These, these are actual real monsters. Okay, I think I can handle that. Only if you're sure. 
Cammy, Tails, is it alright if Scooby comes with us? Well, we're not the ones to judge him. But if he wants to tag along with you a lot, that's fine by me. Alright then, so you guys have to do this now before they come out again. Yes, you have to act fast. Alright, we're on it. Okay, so how do we get into the Yoshi egg then? Oh, it's very, very simple. You guys must touch the egg and just say open sesame and it will pull you in. Huh, that sounds easy. At least it's not, it won't be like Shrek's issue. Well, Kamek did develop the floor. Alright team, we're going to go into the Yoshi egg, find this ogre, well find Shrek. Bring him back and pretty much get him arrested after that. Yeah. And one more thing Kamek, is there anything we need to know once we're inside? Yeah, a part of those monsters. Well, you guys are likely going to encounter the monsters again before they manage to escape. But, there is one other thing inside, but I don't know what it is. Is it bad? It's very bad and beyond imagining. I don't know what's inside, but I think you guys might find out. Or hopefully you guys won't. So, it's now or never. Seems like it. Well, we're heroes, we got nothing to lose. Ooh, I'm scared about that. Alright, let me give you guys the egg. So what do we say? You all, you all must touch it and say open sesame, or at least one of you, but stay together. Allow me, team. Alright, you guys ready? Ready. Ready. I'm so ready. Ready. Ready! Oh, can I have a second chance to pick to spell out? I don't think so. Damn it! All right, team, let's go. Open sesame. Good luck, guys, and make sure you stay safe. Holy crap! We actually did it. Yeah, we said Yoshi egg, but wait, why is there another egg here? I think that's obviously the exit portal. But wait, where's Boo? I thought he was with us. Um, I think I know where Boo is, because I actually went... I kind of went back out for a brief moment, and I saw Woody before I came here. Oh, so where is Boo? I am late. Did I miss anything? There you are, Boo. I thought you abandoned the mission. Where were you? Well, as we were traveling here, I kind of went back out and wanted to see a gameplay. Plus, I wanted to see Mimikyu from Keep Yoshi Lager again. So you dissed us for a brief moment just to watch a gameplay? Yeah, Woody's host Woody hosted it. Um, okay then. Well, um, unless maybe it was that Jet one, because I didn't talk to Jet before coming in here too. Yeah, yeah, I, it was that one. Okay, well anyway, let's get back to our priority mission. So we're now literally inside the Yoshi Egg. That is correct, but wait, there's something that bothers me though. And what is that, Rosalina? Why does this universe look exactly like our own? Hey, come to think of it, it does. Are you saying we didn't go inside the egg? No, we are inside the egg, cause, cause wait, you're, I noticed that Kamek and Tails aren't here. Obviously they're back in our universe keeping an eye on this thing. So, so this looks exactly like our universe. Did Kamek say that he invented like an alternate reality? I think he did mention that, but I never thought it was going to look this identical to our own. But the air in here does feel different. Yeah, it feels very different. It's not like our usual type of oxygen air. Yeah, which is pretty odd. But anyway, at least we're able to breathe in it just fine. Well, I can breathe anywhere. I'm a ghost. Yeah, of course you are, boo. Alright, guys. Well... We need to start exploring around this place, so, and the sooner we find Shrek, the sooner we can leave this alternate reality. Yeah, I agree, because this is a little bit disturbing. Yeah, it is. But hey, at least we get to have a little bit of exploration to see if anything's different in here. I don't know, it looks, everything in here looks exactly identical to our own. Yeah, I can sense it. It definitely is. Just different sort of visuals. Alright, team. Let's, let's go explore and find Shrek. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Someone must be wondering somewhere they, they shouldn't go. Hey, rip and tear! Rip and tear! Listen, you, I don't know where you came from, but this is your bad mistake. You're entering into our reality. 
you have made a brave mistake. Oh, oh, please let me go. Oh, rip and tear, rip and tear. Remember, Leech, it, this is all part of the plan. Oh, so we don't get to rip and tear this little one. Don't worry, you'll have your chance eventually. We're just waiting for the heroes to arrive. It's all according to Master's plan. All right then. Well, I still want to rip and tear him eventually. Don't worry, you'll get your chance. Oh! Wow, this room looks exactly like Kamek's lab. Except it's pretty odd that none of Kamek's science stuff is in here. Yeah, it's really weird. Wait, guys, is that Blue Yoshi up there? What the? What's Blue Yoshi doing in here? How did he get in here? Um, should we go see him? <sighs> it's our duty. Allow me. It's only two of the monsters up there. I can take care of them. Can I please do at least one bite on this loser? No, it's all part of Master's plan. You have to wait. I don't like the waiting. It's stupid. Listen, you, I'm the commander of the monsters, and you do as I say, or I'm gonna have to report you to the boss. Fine! Jeez! Alright, you monstrosities, unhand that Yoshi! Or what? Oh, I'll use my galaxy powers. Yeah! Ah, oh, great, I forgot about this hag! Shut up! This is all for- oh! <laughs> Rosalina, you saved me! Yeah, it should be grateful that I saved your ass. Now, what are you doing in here? I don't know, I just came in here. <sighs> Hold on, let me take you back to Grin and the others, you stupid noobshi. Excellent, went exactly as planned. You mean, us getting tossed around the room like from a princess? Don't worry, it's part of the master's plan. Now that the heroes are here, we can go alert him. Ah, so we can do the ultimate rip and tear. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. No wonder why you get the command position of the monsters. No, shut up and let's go before the heroes find out about our plan. All right, rip and tear, rip and tear. Wait, did they say they had a master? Wait, there's another monster that we don't know. Oh! Why are you in here? Yeah, don't you know this is not our reality, you little punk? I know that! Then why did you- Then why- How did you even get into here? We didn't even see you come in! Well, it happened about 20 minutes ago. You see, when I just saw you guys just outside find us whatever those monsters were, I was trying to find out where Shrek was. And then I saw Tails and Kamek with some sort of Yoshi egg. So I went to investigate. I was there just hiding underneath these sheets so I can eavesdrop on the cover station to see what's going on. <sighs> Kamek, I'm beat. How much is this gonna do? Look, I'm trying the best I can to figure out a way a solution to get Shrek out, but none of my experiments seems to be working. Experiments? I've just been seeing you using your magic wand. That's my experiments. I'm trying to use a safe magic spell to free Shrek from this prison. Why don't I try using my engineering skills? Maybe that could work. How would engineering skills help Shrek get out of a s mystical egg? It's worth a try! Tails, if you try using any of your mechanical machines, you'll end up getting pulled in. It'll make things worse. So, what do you suppose we do? I think there is only one other solution that will not involve much risk. Maybe after the monsters have been defeated and sent back, maybe we could tell Green and the others to go into the egg and retrieve Shrek themselves. You mean them going on a suicide mission? It's risky, I know, but it's probably the safest option. <sighs> Only if you're sure. Pretty much right after I heard they think that Shrek is inside the Yoshi egg, which I thought was a lot of baloney, I thought to confront them and rub it in their stupid scientific faces. Yo, 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 it's the Yoshi, y'all. What the heck? What was that? That was my new gangster personality I was trying to do. That sat. <laughs> Listen, you. I was hearing ears dragging on YouTube's conversation. Wait, what? You know what? You know what this Yoshi egg is? Well, part of it, yeah. And you said that Shrek is trapped inside this thing? Yeah, he's trapped inside. I don't believe that. How could Shrek be trapped in some sort of puny Yoshi egg? That's because it's a Yoshi egg that I invented. Oh, really? So you suppose if I touch this and it's a oh no. Oh, oh! <sighs> 
What a noobsy! Great, so now it's another person that got sucked in. Is that gonna make things worse? Well, luckily, no, because he didn't get his fortune predicted, because he doesn't really believe in fortunes. I thought he did at one stage. Ah, it's complicated with this Yoshi. But the point is... <sighs> he's such a noobsy. So what do we do now? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess we'll keep working on a solution. Did you figure out a way to prevent that spell out of the blue Yoshi got sucked in? Yep, I think I just got it. <sighs> there we go. Now, the Yoshi egg won't be able to suck anyone in anymore. And I also added voice commands. Okay, so that's pretty good. But they still have to touch it before they say the voice commands. Um, okay. You're the science expert. Howdy, partners. <sighs> oh, Woody, what's the pleasure? What seems to be the problem, cowboy? Um, Green and his friends managed to ki to stop the monsters, and now they're keeping them captive in his room. He needs you two to bring the Yoshi egg to them immediately. All right, we'll bring them. We'll bring it to them immediately. Thanks for letting us know, Woody. Thanks. <sighs> and I, I also kicked one of the monsters in the face because he's trying to attack my lovely girlfriend. Oh, Rosalina! Wow, that's pretty brave of you, Woody. Thanks. Anyway, I better I better go rest after all that. Man, that really. Ugh, took the pain out of my boot. Alright, let's get the Yoshi egg to Green's room. Yes. And then as soon as I came in here, those two monsters spawned out of nowhere and captured me. And then that's when you guys came in. So, you pretty much attempted to touch the Yoshi egg, try, tr trying to prove a wrong point to Tails and Kamek? How stupid are you? Look, I was just trying to see how Shrek could get inside a Yoshi egg. Well, we're inside it, you idiot. Look around you. The air is different in here. Oh, yeah, come to think I noticed the air was different. <sighs> this this is exactly why I really hate you as a brother, Yoshi. Oh, who cares? I'm the better one. No, you're not. Well, anyway, you might as well just join the group. Are you sure? Yeah, Yoshi, do you have any adventure experience? Adventure? Wait, you guys are on an adventure? Yeah! We're trying to find Shrek and bring him back before catastrophe happens on our world! Oh! Wait, you guys are looking for Shrek? Uh, yeah. Please let me come. I I, I promise I could be good. Please. Please, 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 please. Pretty please! Okay. 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 <sighs> We'll take you with us on the adventure if you know how any adventure experience. Oh yeah, I played a lot of games that has a lot of adventure experience. Does that count? No. Well, I'm gonna say it counts. <sighs> well, anyway, I don't get Shrek's in here. Maybe we should keep looking. Yeah, even though this is pretty odd that this looks similar to Kamek's lab. Ex well, wait, where's Kamek's like, sciencey stuff? Because this is not our reality, you idiot! Just calm down, Rosalina, calm down. Sorry, it's just this guy really pushes my buttons. He does it with all of us. Hey, is it my fault that I'm the better one? Do you want me to, do you want me to go all tomboy on you? Because I will. Uh, no thanks. All right, team. Let's just bring Blue Yoshi along and let's keep looking for Shrek. Yeah, he's not in here. Let's keep looking, team. Wow, this exact kitchen is exactly identical to our own. How many times do we have to tell you? It's an alternate reality! Okay, Rosalina, calm down. Blue Yoshi, I, I swear to God, if you don't shut up, we will punish you! Okay, jeez, I'm sorry. I'm new to this whole adventure stuff. Going on adventures means you don't need to ask a lot of questions like that. Sorry, jeez. So, do you think Shrek is somewhere in here? This is the last spot we could possibly check. Wait, wait, I think I see him over there. Wait, that is him. Well then, let's go. Wow, it was just that simple. He's sitting on a chair. Ah, oh, Shrek, 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 what are you doing? Why, hello, friends. I see you came to my new lair. What are you talking about? I'm just kidding. I'm actually held hostage. I can't even get off this chair. It's stuck to my butt. Ah, oh, well, that's disturbing. Anyway, Shrek, me and Scoopy, I came to rescue you. Yes, I knew you two would. Ahem. <laughs> uh, and I guess Green and the others too, I guess. I swear, I'm this close to using my galaxy powers on him. Easy, Rosalina, easy. Shrek, what do you mean you can't get off the chair? 
It's, well, it's not only Larry, but some sort of monster is keeping me from escaping. Is it one of those monsters we encountered before? No, it's much worse. So, the party has decided to come out and play. <laughs> Excellent. New, fresh meat. No. It can't be. Is that? Yes, it's Destroyer. What? <laughs> I'm trying to be ogre. <laughs> so, these are the heroes that was given by us to such a bad time back in their precious universe. Oh, I can't escape it. But once the coin teller egg has managed to break its curse, I'll be able to escape this place. I cannot believe that there's a destroyer living inside this Yoshi egg. Me too. It's really, really scary. Um, is it okay to say if I couldn't have second thoughts of joining this adventure? It's too late for back out now, Yoshi. So, you're Yoshi, the best friend to that ogre. Please save me, Yoshi. You're my only hope. What about me? Oh, who cares about a stupid mutt who's a psychic? Monsters, guard the ogre. You got him, Master. Yes, we will guard this ogre and then rip and tear. Rip and tear. Why do you keep saying that? Because I'm a leech. I like brittle violence. Look, I'm just giving you a simple task. Just guard the stupid ogre! Jeez, I... <sighs> Imbecile. So, Destroyer, how are we going to get Shrek out of here? Oh, that's the beauty part. You're not going to let him escape. Because you see, I have a plan to keep him here. And that's what I intend to do, you son of a fools. You know we have to bring him back, but the spider has not liking him. Well, me and Scooby like him. <sighs> Apart from us, except those morons liking Shrek, we have to bring him back. Because if he doesn't, our universe will be doomed. Oh yes, by us. Especially me, the king of monsters. You know, I still think Godzilla's better than you. I am not like that stinking reptile. I am a better superior monster to that Godzilla. Well, I seen Godzilla movies in more movies than you. <sighs> I think you don't want to make him mad. I don't care. I'm a goddess. I can protect myself. Well, listen. None of you are going to leave here. And we're going to keep that ogre here so we can escape this wretched dimension and invade a new world for us to conquer. Yes, it can it rip and tear! It can it rip and tear! Yes, enough. So, any last words before I just kill you all right here and now? Well, guess what? We're not leaving without that ogre. Even if we have to fight you, so be it. Very well, you have chosen a fate among your lives. On guard, demon! Oh! That's right, that's the power of the Keyblade. Wow, Green, you've been getting really good with that thing. Well, it was actually thanks to that Riku fellow that moved in. He taught me how to wield my own Keyblade, so I could be like Sora. Cool. Uh, doesn't Riku have a Keyblade too? Okay, true because I am a no everything about Kingdom Hearts, but this is now not the time to talk about that. We need to stop that thing and free Shrek. You guys with me? We're with you, Green. Uh, I want your bell. Me too. I don't know how to fight a monster. Well, you chose to join us, so there's no back out now, Gucci. All right, team, let's go. Should we come to aid you, Master? No, continue guarding that stupid fat moron. I will handle them myself. Oh, no rip and tear. Don't disobey the master. <sighs> now you're gonna face the horror of the destroyer. <sighs> you 
You know, I have to be honest, this guy kind of scares me a bit, Yoshi. Don't worry, Koopa. We can handle it just fine. Remember, we're heroes. Green trained us for this moment. I wasn't promotionally trained for this. Well, you're going to get owned bad. No shame. Oh, come on. Not that we have anything to say about it. <laughs> what? My keyblade is supposed to hit you. You can hit me, but you cannot destroy me. You see, this is my reality. And as long as the magic source is keeping me alive in this dimension, I can never be stopped. Oh no, he must have been talking about Kamek's magic. Oh, I guess this is the most thing that Kamek's ever made. For once, I totally agree with you. Well, you know what? Let me give it a shot, Green. I'm not gonna let some dinosaur, whatever dragon kind of creature that is get in my way. Yeah! You, you, is that enough with you, huh? Like I said, you can't destroy me. I'm just gonna stay here just to see how long you guys can try. <laughs> Ow! Ah, oh, that really hurts! Ah! Uh, Rosalina, why don't you try? I guess it's better than nothing. Well, there's always the first for everything, including for me. Huh. Oh, what are you doing to me? Oh. Oh. Huh. How do you like that, you stupid monstrosity? <sighs> nice try, but I'm unbeatable. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Good sweet dreams, goddess. Holy! Rosalina, are you okay? She's out cowed. Oh, crap. You're gonna pay for that. Hold on, let me see if I can fight for her. I did it once. I can do it again. I'll just try to heal up her wounds. <laughs> are you serious? You did that to Cooper too? Yes. And you don't need your precious key. Because you are useless. Oh yeah? I can summon it back. What? Impossible! Wait, Green, how did you learn to do that? Sora and Riku teach me about this. Oh, so that guess that makes you a Keyblade Lorder. Uh, yeah. I known about this for a while. Good job, Green. And you're going to pay for what you did to Koopa and Rosalina. Yeah! <sighs> you, you okay, Maggie? I'm just in badly pain. I can't stand up at the moment. I'm too scared. Me too. Can I please go home? We're not leaving until we get tri- Wait, where's Boo? Ow, Boo decided one of his sneaky plan. Okay, I wonder what that is. Uh, listen, how much longer are you going to keep doing this? We have orders to keep you guarded while destroyer places those stupid heroes down there and make sure they don't a lot be breathing. Yeah, and he did a good job ripping tail on that princess girl and uh, whatever that turtle is. So he's their toast. I'm about to lick some monster bats. <laughs> ah, what the? <sighs> oh. Wait, Boo, you saved me. I'm only saving you to save our universe, you stupid El Gear. Now, come on. I'm going to take you back to the egg right now so we can get out of here. E e oh, jeez, you're heavy. No matter what your mod attacks do, you can never do it. <laughs> oh, what the? Oi, you're supposed to stay at your post. Bleach? Oh, looks like your little friend, or whatever he is, decided to pass him out. Ha ha, you stink. Oh, what, what the? Guys, I got Shrek. Come on, let's just get out of here. We can't destroy him. Let's just leave. All right, but I may not be able to destroy the destroyer, but at least I can pass him out of his own dimension, because he has no claws on that. Huh. <sighs> Green. That was pretty heroic. Yeah, yeah, but let's just get these guys back home, alright? Our mission is done. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to waste any more time in this stupid egg. Yeah, me neither. See, this alternate reality our dimension is really, really, really weird. Alright, I got them. Don't worry. Ooh, at least we can finally get out of here. 
Yeah, I think I'm not gonna consider going back on any more adventures. I think I'll link it to the more professionals. But don't make fun of me saying I'm not a hero material professional. You haven't seen the last of me. I will return someday. You will be dead. So you're actually telling me that there is a lot of bunch of heroes, including Shrek the Ogre and Blue Yoshi, inside this Yoshi egg. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, that's why I called you guys here, because as soon as the heroes get back, we need you to arrest Shrek. He was the one who caused all this trouble in the first place. No problem. Me and my trusty partner, Officer Spider-Man, will do it. Okay, okay, I get it, Officer M. Wait, Officer M? I thought your name was Officer Big. Oh, I changed it to Officer M. I want me sound like an agent. It might sound awesome. So what do you think about that, Officer Spider-Man? You changed it since last week, and it's been bugging me, man. I mean, you just brag about saying, Hey, look, I'm Officer M. I'm an agent. I am a better agent than you, Officer Spider-Man. Gee, don't make me say your real name, Peter Parker. <sighs> Wait, you're Peter Parker? I thought you knew that. I'm kidding, of course we are now. You're Spider-Man. We've seen every Spider-Man film. Yeah, including your newest one, Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, technically that's Miles' new movie. Still, you're, there is Peter Parker's in it. Okay, touche. So, do you know how long the heroes are going to be? I don't know, they've been gone for hours. I'm actually now starting to get worried that they didn't survive. Wait, I hear something. Huh? Is, is this what the Yoshi egg does? Oh my god, it's alive! It's not alive, you Nimrod. Maybe that's greater than the others. <sighs> Finally, we're back home. Good sweet home, I never want to get to another reality again. Green! Guys, you're back! Yeah, we made it back in one piece. But we barely got out. Well, almost. Yeah, you wouldn't believe what we encountered in there. Well, what did you guys encounter? We encountered... A destroyer. Wait, the destroyer from the kaiju movies? Kamek, you invented a destroyer? I did not know! I guess that was the true eagle source. So you invented this thing? I did, but look, I was trying to make it good, but when it was turning bad, I decided to stop working on it. Shrek was the one who stole it. I was wanting to do it for the best fortune telling business. And that put all of us in danger. And look what happened to Cooper and Rosalina. They're knocked out bad. Wait, they, they're badly injured? Destroyer nearly killed them, but they're, they're still alive, but they're badly injured. Well, don't worry. My magic can help that. I, I, I will restore their, their physical injuries in peace. Ha! Ow. Ugh. Huh? We're back home? Oh, we're back home. Oh, well, at least we got out of that destroyer's wrath, right, Green? Yeah, but we barely got out, but it was thanks to Bill. Yeah, I was able to create a diversion and got Shrek and we managed to get back home safely. Oh, thanks, Boo. You're the best. <laughs> and as for you, Shrek, since I have heard that you caused all this, I'm afraid you're going to have to come with us to jail. Wait, what? You called the police? Yeah, you caused all this. Oh, sorry, Cooper. Uh, I, I'll, I'm just gonna rest here, I'm tired. That's fine. But yeah, you're going to jail, Shrek. You caused all this mess. Yeah, so come on. Ugh. Ugh, I, I have you are, but luckily with my spider strength. Come on, Officer M. Okay, see you all later. Uh. Huh? Officer M? I thought his name was Officer Big. I think he decided to change it to Officer M because he said he wanted to be like an agent of the police horse. That's really stupid. Yeah, it kind of does. <sighs> so, now that we managed to bring Shrek back and the monsters did not come out, does that mean this crisis is finally over? Yes, you guys had did it. You made sure that Shrek got back just before the egg was about to unleash its evil powers on the world. You guys did it. You saved the universe. Thank God, this crisis is finally over. Yes, and to make sure this won't happen again, I have decided I'm going to lock away this thing for good. I'm never using it again for anything. Why don't you just sell it? That will make things easier. If I sell it, it could do more harm than good. 
Yeah, Kamek knows what's better, you moron. Whatever. But look, I'm going to lock this away. I'm not going to cause any more trouble with this thing. And Tails, I'm really sorry I have to put you through this mess. Well, you might want to be honest to Mookie Tails and Cortex when you've seen him. <sighs> Alright. I promise I'll tell them. But anyway, I'm going to take this to my lab and lock it in a secure place that no one can find it. Especially Carnage Green if he ever comes back someday. Alright, I'll beat you guys a deal. I'll see you all later. I think I better go see Cream. I haven't seen him much ever since this whole adventure thing going on. So I think I'll catch you guys later. Okay, Tails. So what am I supposed to do now? Well, why don't you just do something else? Because I heard Shrek's going to be locked away in jail for about a year. What? A whole year? Uh, yeah. After the cleaning calls to all of us, I think he deserves that long sentence. Bro! So sorry, Scooby. You might have to find something else to do for the next year, because Shrek is going to be gone for quite some time. <sighs> I guess I'll just go back to Warner Brothers Mookie World until... Uh, he's back, I guess. Seriously, are you still going to be his fortune partner after all the trouble he put us through? Yeah, because it's only thing I can do. Anyway, I'll go back to the Gold Coast. I'll see you guys next year. Okay, then. <sighs> well, at least this is finally over. Yeah, and you know what? I really want to relax. Ugh. I hope Woody was managed to do everything you needed to do in charge while you were gone. Yeah, I'm hoping for that too. I'm going to ask him after I rested. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take a couple days off from playing sports. After that whole thing, it got like a whole sport to me. I think I'm just going to go see Pinky Yoshi. I haven't happened to see her much ever since this whole thing happened. Um, so, Becky, um... I'm not going to date you, you're thinking of that. Oh, you parrot. Hey! Oh, ho, 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 she. Okay, I'll knock at you. Ah, 